Greetings everybody and today we're going to be taking a look at one outrageous integral. So that's the integral of dx, so that's not too bad to do. But then on top of that we have a square root of dx. What on earth is a square root of dx? And then we also have this dx root of dx to make matters worse. And because I'm bored I add on an extra e to the 1 over dx and then we end it off with a 1 over dx, the whole thing factorial, whatever that happens to be. So maybe you see it, if you have a keen eye, you might know what I'm about to use. But if not, it actually all has to do with this 1 over dx factorial. We're going to be employing some kinds of approximation. Because notice, we have 1 over dx, and you can think about dx as just some kind of quantity that approaches 0. And what happens if you have 1 divided by something that approaches 0? Well, the whole thing approaches infinity. So we have something approaching infinity inside of this factorial, and we can actually use something called the Stirling approximation for that. So Stirling's approximation. What is the Stirling's approximation? Well, it says that n factorial is asymptotically equal to, we have this square root of 2 pi n, and we have n over e to the power of n. So as n becomes very, very, very big, it looks similar. It gets closer and closer to this expression over here. So these two um, functions are asymptotically equivalent. So this only works as n becomes a very very big and we can use this because 1 over x is becoming very very big. So we can actually replace this 1 over dx factorial with its asymptotic um, approximation. So this is equal to the integral of dx square root of dx dx root of this of dx e to the 1 over dx and so this guy over here now we can just use this so we're going to have the square root of 2 pi n becomes 1 over dx. Okay, and then we also have n, that's our 1 over dx from before, divided by e raised to the 1 over dx power. So I essentially just replace all these n's here with 1 over dx. And now a couple of things should hopefully simplify. So now we have the integral of dx, square root of dx, dx root of dx, and then e to the 1 over dx. And notice we can split this up a little bit. We can split this up into its square root of 2 pi divided by the square root of dx. That's nice because notice square root of dx is going to cancel up with this guy over here. And over on this mess over here, what are we going to get? We can split this up a little bit across these fractions. So we have 1 over e raised to the 1 over dx. And finally, 1 over dx raised to the 1 over dx. So just splitting up the power. And as notice, some things cancel. And these dx's over here. What else cancels? Notice we have e to the 1 over dx. That's gone uh, because we have 1 over e to the 1 over dx. Uh, what else happens over here? Well, notice here, you can drag this 1 over dx into the denominator. So we have 1 over dx as a power, but 1 over dx, that's the same thing as dx root. So notice this generates a 1 over dx root of dx. And that's nice because this guy cancels over here. So a bunch of things cancel out. What are we left with? We're left with the integral of dx times this oh, square root of 2 pi. And this is very easy to evaluate. This is just a constant. So this just becomes a writer as x squared 2 pi and then plus c, and then we're done. And that's how you evaluate this one mess of an integral.